we can use this 3D view to edit and build up our structure. In the past we've gone through the normal tree, but let's work today to show, see how we can use the 3D view. So we have the same toolbar and menu as the tree view. <coughs> so we'll start by creating a detector. We have all the properties of the detector down here, so we can uh, let's just create this, change this one to being um, a VU. And we can um, add a pipe to this, the same as we normally do. So I'm going to add two T's to this. And then we'll add, select the detector again. And add another pipe. Put another T on there. And then what we'll do is we'll select down the bottom below the bend. Instead of sending to the left, we'll send that initial bend to the right. And that swings that second uh, T round to the back of the detector. So we can do these sort of operations in a straightforward way. We can go and insert items. So if I want to insert a bend, or maybe I'll insert um, a, a drop pipe at this point. Um, I can edit its properties here, so we can change its relative length here, and we'll make that uh, three. I can then insert into this one here, I can insert um, a bend. I can change the direction of the bend so it goes uh, left. Well, actually, let's change it to go right so you can see more what's going on. And I might add another um, bend into this to bring it back up. Um, <clears throat> and what I might do then is we'll add a hole in this bottom one here. And we'll switch close end cap here. Um, And then what we can do is select the whole, this whole structure just by double clicking on this. And then once we've selected that, we can copy it. And we can go and paste it other places. So I could go and paste it there. Oops, paste two by mistake. So let's just undo one of those. Paste another one there and so on. So oh, I could paste, it, paste one onto this branch here. And because this branch is going the other way, this is also um, essentially being rotated, so it's going out and out to the left on this branch. So these are just some of the things that you can do. Um, we can choose to focus on one branch at a time. So we might decide to focus just on this pipe here and we can then change the set of showing all pipes we just show the currently selected pipe. If we want to see a little bit of an indication of where the other pipe is we can switch on the transparency and gradually bring that in. Um, this blue line you can see down the bottom determines when you are going to add a select that other pipe and the idea is that at times where pipes are close together, it can be confusing if you accidentally select them. So when they've got low uh, visibility, um, until they you reach that blue line, you won't select them. So if I click here, it won't select it. But if I move up to this level here and click there, you'll see how we suddenly swap which pipe there has the, um, it's getting the attention. Um, we can flip on um, annotations. So if we, at the moment, the annotations only set to showing the item name, but if we want to, we could show the whole diameter as well. And if instead of having them next to each other, we could put these two bits of information one above the other. We have to use a backslash n, a line feed then to separate them. So if we do that, 
um, you'll see that um, they now appear one above the other. But that all looks a bit too busy, so for the moment I'm going to switch that all off again. Um, there's a few th useful things you can do here. The auto frame is always a useful thing, so that will just position everything in the middle and scale it automatically as you move it. Um, if I click with my right mouse, I can rotate these things. If I get myself confused, I can always go back to standard view. So I, uh, I can view from the front to go see what sort of detector we've got. But quite often, I just work with the isometric view. Um, I can zoom in as well. 